Welcome to this short presentation of the double beam optical dilatometer Misura HT. The double beam optical dilatometer was first developed by Expert System Solutions in the year 1999 and it is protected by two international patents. The high innovative design is based on two microscope optic with high magnification which are framing both the ends of the sample. The optical dilatometer Misura HT is the only instrument available on the market which is able to follow the process of expansion, sintering or bloating with higher solution and making no contact with the sample. It is currently used by many companies and research laboratories in several industrial fields like traditional and advanced ceramic, glass, cellular materials, metallic powders, hard ceramic coating on metals and in the management of industrial wastes. The optical setup is based on two digital cameras equipped with a long focal microscope which are able to achieve an actual magnification of 0.6 microns per pixel. The two microscopes are mounted on micrometric slides which allow the precise positioning of the microscope in order to frame the top border of the sample and the sample holding plate. The upper optical path is equipped with a step motor which keeps always aligned the microscope with the top of the sample, even if the linear shrinkage overcomes the 50%. The sample is 15 mm high with a base of 5 by 5 mm. The sample can be cut from a piece of raw or fired material using a diamond blade which can be supplied as an accessory. As alternative, the sample can be pressed from powder using a small manual press, also supplied as accessory. Since the sample is 15 meter high and the resolution of the measurement is 0.6 microns, the resolution of the measurement is one part over 20,000. The sample is introduced into a tubular kiln which can be supplied in different versions up to 80 degrees per minute and up to 1600 degrees centigrade. The measurement is carried out with no contact on both sides of the sample and for this reason it is an absolute measurement. In the traditional dilatometers the sample is contained inside the measuring system which itself expands with temperature. When the measuring system is made with alumina, the expansion of the measuring head may be much bigger than the expansion of the specimen itself. For this reason, it is absolutely necessary to apply a correction curve, which accounts for the expansion of the measuring system. In the optical dilatometer, the sample is completely free, and it is not necessary to record and use the procedure of the calibration curve. This graph is showing the result of the measurement of the standard reference material 738, the blue line, supplied from, by the National Institute for Standards and Technology, an NIST, in comparison with the data certified by the NIST, the red dotted line. Since it, it is not necessary to correct the curve with the correction curve, it is it becomes possible to use complex heating and cooling rates during the test. This makes it possible to reproduce industrial firing cycles. This is the main window of the software during this measurement. Here we can follow a sintering test on a ceramic body. The two vertical windows on the left show the images of the top end of the sample and of the sample holding plate. On the right we have the expansion contraction curve, colored in blue, measured on the sample as a function of time, and the temperature curve colored in red. The thermal treatment set for this test is made of three steps. Heating up to 1200 degrees centigrade 
at 50 degrees per minute, holding the temperature of 1200 degrees C for a period of 10 minutes and then cooling. The material is sintering very fast and the step motor is working quite often to bring back the image in the center of the window. The interval at constant temperature starts when the temperature reaches 1200 degrees C. Note that the temperature of the kiln overcome of only 1 degrees the, the set point. The sintering process continues even during the permanence at constant temperature, but the speed of sintering is progressively reduced. At the end of the permanence at 1200 degrees, the cooling starts and the temperature drops very quickly. The height of the sample keeps reducing because of the thermal contraction caused by cooling. This is an example of a graph of a, the sintering test. The red curve is the temperature, the blue curve is the expansion contraction, the green is the derivative of the sintering against the time or the sintering speed, the lilia curve is the second derivative of the sintering. One of the favorite field of application of the optical dilatometer Misura HT is the control of the thermal behavior of ceramic raw materials. This is a comparison between several kaolinitic clays carried out with the heating rate of 50 degrees per minute up to 1400 degrees centigrade. Zooming the upper part of the graph, it is possible to have a better evaluation of the differences between the materials. Zooming only the part of the curve with the little fraction of the shrinkage, we can get a result very similar to the one of a traditional electronic dilatometer. This is a curve recorded on a sample of pressed powder of glass. The test continued up to the melting of the sample. We can clearly see that the material expanded up to 640 degrees and then it shrank up to 4%. After that, it stays fairly stable up to 900 degrees and above this temperature it starts collapsing. The test was ended when the temperature reached 1000 degrees and the shrinkage overcame 12%. Zooming on the upper part of the curve, we get a curve similar to the one obtained with an electronic dilatometer. The transition temperature is 540 degrees and the thermal expansion coefficient is 8.4 by 10 minus 6. The differences with the curves from traditional dilatometers are quite obvious. The part of the curve after the glass transition temperature, which keeps going upward, is much wider and no traditional dilatometer can follow the behavior of a glass up to complete melting. Another quite interesting point for technicians who make daily use of the dilatometer is that there is no danger for, of spoiling the measuring system when the sample melts on the holding plate. The fact that the measurement is carried out with lower resolution compared with the traditional dilatometer is largely compensated by the fact that the measurement is absolute and it does not depend on the calibration curve. One of the most interesting applications of the sintering curves is the possibility to identify the optimal temperature to reach the complete sintering in the shortest time, avoiding the risk of overfiring and bloating the material. Running a test with constant heating rate up to bloating, it is possible to identify the temperature of maximum sintering rate. This temperature is identified by the negative peak of the first derivative of the sintering, or the sintering speed, which is the green curve. In this case, it is 1230 degrees. Now, carrying out a second test with the same heating rate up to the temperature of maximum sintering speed, followed by a permanence at that constant temperature, it is possible to know how much time is necessary to hold the temperature 
in order to reduce the sintering speed to zero. Managing in this way, it is possible to design a heat treatment with the optimal temperature and the minimal holding time for the sintering process. The result of the test can be confirmed by running several trials at slightly different temperatures. In the shown example, it is quite obvious that the best sintering conditions are achieved at 1210 degrees, since we get the maximum shrinkage and the sintering curve becomes perfectly flat. Rising the temperature up to 1220 or 1230 degrees, the material starts swelling, the shrinkage becomes lower and the sintering curve invert the slope. The curve of the heat treatment at 1200 DC clearly shows that even after 10 minutes at constant temperature the sintering is not yet completed because the slope of the curve is, it is still quite relevant. The optical dilatometer Misura HT allows the study of the kinetic of sintering as a function of temperature or as a function of time. This graph shows three sintering tests at different temperatures, with the first derivative of sintering or sintering speed and the heat treatment. A different color is assigned to each test for all the curves, the sintering curve, the speed of sintering and the temperature. These tests show that the shrinkage increases as the temperature increases and it grows with time at constant temperature. The derivative of sintering against time or the sintering speed is showing that the sintering speed is growing exponentially with temperature but it decreases exponentially at constant temperature. This last example is an industrial waste slag which shows bloating behavior. This material is used for the manufacturing of lightweight aggregates. The analysis of this sintering test clearly suggests the temperature and the time needed to obtain the maximum bloating before the material starts collapsing. Thank you for the attention in following this presentation of the features of the double beam optical dilatometer Misura HT.